Well, Jen, we've learned that uh, state police believe that the suspect responsible for these bullet holes found at the Capitol yesterday is already in custody, tied to those incidents in Southington and several other towns over the weekend. So a look here, you can see where that bullet hole went into the state Capitol building or hit the state Capitol building. And again, police now saying that they believe that that suspect is connected to those other shootings that we saw over the weekend. Police say that suspect is 74-year-old Douglas Floyd Golnick, and he's believed to be tied to the bullet holes in the Capitol as well. Though state police say that the suspect is not currently facing any charges for this particular incident at this time. The suspect has been in the hospital since being taken into custody on Sunday and state police say at this point in the investigation mental health appears to play a role in these incidents. Police say Golnick shot at several locations, including churches and homes. No one was hurt in any of those shooting incidents, including here at the Capitol. State police say that it doesn't appear that anyone was targeted and that it was an isolated incident. Police say that Hartford Police Department C4 department played a large role in determining who the suspect was. Video evidence, uh, shot spotter was uh, instrumental. In that, the, the theory was there was no, initially there was no shot spotter, clear shot spotter notification. When that happens, uh, oftentimes as an investigator, you determine that, that, that the gunshot could have occurred either with a low caliber, within a vehicle, or both. Now, meanwhile, Capitol Police are also investigating a separate incident that they say happened last night on the south lawn of the Capitol behind me. So they said that someone drove over the lawn of the Capitol, over the sidewalk, and eventually onto the highway ramp, which is right next to the state Capitol. They said that they have identified a suspect at this point. Again, this is a completely separate incident, and police say that they don't believe that there was any damage done to that lawn. It's not clear at this point if there are any pending charges in that incident. Live at the state Capitol, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.